Imagine stepping into a world where dinosaurs roam the Earth again. It sounds like something straight out of a movie, but could scientists really clone dinosaurs? This question has fascinated both scientists and the public for decades, and today, we'll explore whether or not it's actually possible. The idea of cloning dinosaurs often starts with DNA. DNA is the blueprint of life, and cloning requires a complete, intact sample of it. But here's the problem. Dinosaur DNA is millions of years old. Over time, DNA breaks down, and so far, no one has found a perfectly preserved dinosaur genome that could be used for cloning. But what if we found DNA preserved in something like amber? Some scientists hoped that fossilized mosquitoes, trapped in amber and filled with dinosaur blood, could hold the key. Unfortunately, research shows that DNA doesn't survive well, even in amber, making it unlikely that this method would provide usable material. Even if scientists did manage to extract some dinosaur DNA, it wouldn't be enough. They would need a complete sequence to create a clone. And filling in the gaps with DNA from modern animals, like birds, the closest living relatives of dinosaurs, would lead to major uncertainties and potentially a creature far from a true dinosaur. The challenges don't end there. Cloning itself is not a simple process. Even with modern animals, cloning is an experimental procedure with high failure rates. Cloning an extinct species with incomplete DNA would introduce even more complications from embryonic development to ethical concerns. Ethical debates have already emerged in cloning research with animals like mammoths. If scientists succeeded in cloning a dinosaur, questions would arise about the consequences of bringing an extinct creature back to life. Could we handle their reintroduction, and should we even try? One emerging technology, CRISPR, gives scientists more precise control over gene editing, offering a glimmer of hope for piecing together extinct DNA. But it would be a monumental task to reconstruct enough of a dinosaur genome to create a living clone. Another potential avenue is de-extinction. Instead of cloning, some scientists propose re-engineering animals by modifying the genes of modern species to make them resemble their ancient ancestors. This approach could, in theory, produce something dinosaur-like, but it still wouldn't be a true clone. Despite these obstacles, science fiction has kept the dream alive. Films like Jurassic Park fuel our imaginations, but the reality is much more complex. While the science behind cloning has made incredible advances, we're still far from bringing dinosaurs back to life. Instead of cloning dinosaurs, research in paleogenetics helps scientists better understand how these creatures lived and evolved. The study of ancient DNA can reveal new insights about their biology, habitats, and why they went extinct, without the need for cloning. For now, dinosaurs will remain in the fossil record. Cloning them isn't within our reach due to technological and ethical challenges, but science is constantly evolving. Who knows what breakthroughs the future might hold? In the meantime, we can still admire these magnificent creatures through the discoveries paleontologists make every year. While we may not be able to clone dinosaurs, their legacy continues to inspire our understanding of life on Earth. So, can scientists clone dinosaurs? Not today, but the story of their existence still fascinates us all.